Devils and Ducks. New Jersey starts with the Jack Hughes, Andre Palat, and Jesper Bratline. No changes other than Markstrom in for Allen for the Devils coming off that game on Thursday against the Islanders, and that means that... Well, Luke just turned it over right here as well for the Devils stopping Anaheim, and if the Devils can continue to... Mason drives just high off a stretch pass from Luke Hughes. Force turnovers at their defensive blue line. That's going to really help the Devils rush game. Terry leaves it back. Brock McGinn shoots and scores. He goes short side and Anaheim leads just 447 in. From McGinn, I don't think I don't think Markstrom picked it up right there. As you see, Kova Savage goes down to one knee, but he doesn't get a piece of it. Uh, if you're a defenseman, you hope to get a little piece of that. People don't know when you're a young defenseman. I mean, you were thinking about possibly wanting to get traded somewhere else just so that you could be a little more on the offense. Oh, well, look at that passing. Jack Hughes shoots. Rebound. Score! A passing sequence leads to a tying goal. Jack Hughes is third of the season. And the Devils just do just that you see that backhand pass quickly from Mercer and the puck is bouncing everywhere eventually nice little tip pass though from Meyer and Jack Hughes stays with it, able to slide it past a sprawling rhymer we're tied at one and and he was his goal assisted by Mercer and Meyer and now Nason leaves it for Holla he shoots Reimer fights it off Nice save there. Kovacevic to Nason. He scores! Stefan Nason sneaks it under the blocker. And the Devils lead. Defensive zone and great vision and look as Kovacevic finds Nason. He sure scored three power play goals already from that spot this year. Nason sliding, tried to get it to Hughes. It bounced around. Hot pass for Brad, he tracks it down, he changes directions, gets around Fabry, sends it to the front, SCORE! <laughs> Stefan Mason second, after a leaving and whirling feed from Jesper Brad. Well, this is picture perfect. Backhand, or shall I say forehand. Meyer, Cotter, and Mercer out on this shift. Dawson Mercer sends it across to Jonas Siegenthaler. In first shooting lane, Ma Mercer takes it, attacks down the alleyway, backhand to front, Connor scores! There's taking advantage of the situation, adding another goal to go up 4-1. Well, the Devils faithful here. I was just going to say, or do that. Spend time in the offensive zone, uh, but make sure you're not happy with the score the first two periods take again for me it's taking nothing for granted here comes nico he's attacking ludo he gets inside and he scores nico he's on an ultimate heater right now his ninth goal to lead the nhl look at this stretch pass from is that dougie hamilton Here's Tatar getting bucked from behind by McTavish. Dougie Hamilton with an assist on Heischer's goal. Plays it down low to Andre Palat. That's knocked away by Luno. Palat's pass is intercepted. Ryan Strom takes it the other way. Gautier glides an extra pass toward the front, and it is dumped in by Ryan Strom. So the Ducks end the run off a devil turnover. Ryan Strom scores his third of the year. That's a good play. The Devils killed off a recent penalty and now have just 70 seconds to salt this one away before heading out to Western Canada to play Vancouver on Wednesday. Mason's pass, a little dangerous through the middle, but Brendan Dillon gets to it first. A good tap along by Palat. Eric Hall looking for one more. To be rewarded for his hard-working game, physical game, and Devils get the puck out of the zone. Please, thank you. <laughs> well, I was flipping through my thesaurus as well. So. <laughs> it means it was a relief, a big relief tonight for this Devils squad. A 